Hello guys, welcome back. Let's start exploring Langchain. As I said in my earlier video, I will go through each and every step of Langchain documentation and I will cover the Python documentation. This is the main website of Langchain. And if we click this Python docs, it will take us to the Python documentation page. So for me, at least when I start exploring some web frameworks, I want to go through the getting started or quick start guide as it is mentioned in the website also in the first link here, it says quick start guide, right? First go through all the different aspects so that I get the glimpse of what a LAN chain can do. This quick start guide is a little bit longer. So in this video, I will go through the building or language model application LLMs. And in the next video, I will go and explore the chat models. Let's get started. Now let's explore the first part, building or language model application LLMs, right? This is the quick starter. We get the high level idea of what Langchain is, as I said before. First, we need to install all the packages. I have already done this for you. You can just run this command and we need the API key, right? In order to interact with the Hugging Face or OpenAI's platform, we need to have the API keys of those platforms. So. You can go to this link here and take the OpenAI's API key as well as the Hugging Face Hub API keys. And you can just place in this place folder. I have already run this command. After this, let's go and create the prediction model first. Let get get prediction from the language model, right? So for that, we can import the OpenAI and Hugging Face Hub. After I import that, we can just now initialize the wrapper. So here I have OpenAI and I give the temperature 0 0.9 so temperature is just how we can control the level of randomness it's you can go and read more into here and we just provide the text what would be a good company name for a company that makes colorful socks if I provide that text into the large language model then it will provide me some output right so it says rainbow toes okay great so now this is, as I said, uh, as I said here in the documentation, OpenAI's API is not free, but initially they will give you some credit and uh, what Hogging Face Hub API is free. So if you prefer going in that way, it's fine. I will also give you one example here, but it doesn't work with all the different models. Here I have just chosen one model, Flan T5 XL. And for that, it's the same process. You just like the wrapper. Here is Hogging Face Hub. And I just pass the repo ID, model arguments, temperature 0 0.9, max length is 64. If I run the same text into this, it will provide me the sock monkey. What I noticed is always the Hogging Face Hub and this Google, this model provides the same result, but OpenAI provides different results each time I run. Just to show you, if I run this again, it shows you, okay, colorful quotes. But if I run the Hogging Face one, it will... So again, the sock monkey. Now let's go and see what is prompt template. So this is really the good concept of a lang chain. Instead of hard coding the text we want to ask, we can use prompt templates to manage the prompts. For example, it works similar to Python FE strings. As you can see in Python FE strings, we just provide the name of the variable and then we pass that into the FE string. And if I run this, it will just pass the name of the framework in the string as a variable, right? Similar to that in Langchain also, we need to import from Langchain prompts, import prompt template. How we do is we just say prompt equals to prompt template and we pass the input variable. So it will be in a list. Here I said product and the template itself is what is the good name for a company that makes before we said socks, right? But here we are just passing the products. So if I run this, it will create the instance for us. And now we can just run this with the dot format method. So here it says prompt, which we just mentioned here and dot format. And we just say the product, right? So what do we want the output to be? I said here colorful socks. You can just pass anything you want. If I run this command, then it says, what is a good name for a company that makes colorful socks, right? If you change this to something else, the something else will be output here. Let's say if I write sort, not seat, right? Sorts. And if I run this, what is the good name for a company that makes sorts, right? 
For now, let's go with just full socks. If I run this, it will say colorful socks. This is how easily, because uh, before in the first example, we need to go here and write all the sentence, right? But if you are creating an application, there, there should be something easier and convenient to do. So now you can just replace the name here and all the things will be in that format. Okay, in the beginning, we interacted with the large language model and then we create a prompt, right? But they work separately. In real applications, using the large language model in isolation is okay for some applications, but instead in most of the applications, you need chaining, right? Hence, there is a change in the lang chain. So how it works is, is the same way that we initialized before. Here we have large language model, we have the prompts, same as before. So I can just run this again. It does nothing, but it's just the same what we did just before. Now we can import the LLM chain from lang chain. Here it says from lang chain dot chains. We import the LLM chain and we set LLM chain equals to LLM chain. Prompt equals to prompt and LLM equals to LLM. Before we did separately, like right? there is a large language model output and there is the prompt. But now we chain that together, meaning that we create a simple chain that takes user input, format the prompt with it and send it to the LLM. So if I run this command now, it is being initialized. Now we can run the chain with LLM chain dot run. You see here, I just pass the name here, colorful socks. And now it gives me the output. That is how easy you can chain different things. Here we are chaining the last language models and the prompt together. So you get the idea how we are slowly building blocks one after the another. And this is really good. And so far I am actually enjoying creating this content and also learning myself in the lang chain. Okay, now there is another building block called agents. I hope if you have watched the auto GPT videos or, or something like that, there are different agents talking to each other, right? There are AI agents. So dynamically call chains based on user input. So far, what we did was we run the chains in a predetermined order, but agents can use an LLM to determine which actions to take in what order. An action can either be using a tool and observing its output or returning to the user. It actually takes a tool, LLM and agents. There are three different agents like in order to load the agents, understanding the following concepts is crucial. So the tool is what is tool? A function that performs a specific duty is called the tool. This can be like Google source, database, lookup, Python, REPL or other chains. And the LLM is of course the large language model powering the agent. And there is the agent. Agents invoke a large language model making decisions about which actions to take. We don't have to determine the predetermined action now. So how it works, if you want to go, you can click the link here. But as I said, this is just a quick start video. I will go through this in depth in my upcoming videos. But if you want to know more, you can just click this link here. But in this example, what I'm going to do is do a Google search. So for that, you need to install Google source results Python package. I will run the command, but for this, we need the SORP API API key, right? For that, you need to go to this pi.com. You need to create an account to verify yourself. And if you just click this link, there will be an API key. I have already passed the API key. This is really cool how it works. I will show you now. What I did here, I just imported the necessary modules. And first, let's load a language model. Here, I just did what we did before, right? Open AI and I just keep the temperature zero for now. Now, there is the tools part. As I said, here we have LLM, tools and agents, right? First, there is the LLM and then the tools. We just load the SORP API, right? And there is the agent now. We initialize the agent with tools and the LLM. And the agent is agent type dot zero short react description and we want the variables true meaning that we want to see what it will output what i'm saying here is what is langchain because the model the open ai model don't know what is langchain right because the open ai's training data was cut off in september 2021 langchain just appeared well, say six months ago it does not know what is langchain right but if i run this what it does let's see the output also here 
it says entering the new agent executor chain i should resource this to find out more information there is the action now sort and then there is the observe and there is action input which says lang chain and observation is lang chain is a framework for developing applications powered by language models and there is the thought process also with the ai itself this looks like a good source of information and there is again the action okay sort action inputs lang chain applications observation and it provides something here there is the thought process again going on and there is the final answer and it provides the final answer for us this is how cool we we actually because now there is already the plugins in chat gpt also but that is only for pro version not in the or not in the free version right but here with the help of agents we can do a google search and find the latest information this is really cool. Okay, so now comes the memory part. We can add state to the chains and the agents. So far, for all the chains and agents we have gone through, they have stateless, right? But often you want to have a chain or agent to have some concept of memory, right? In chatbot case, you want the conversation or the chat bot to remember the earlier conversation. So that there is the short term memory and there is the long term memory, meaning that it must somehow remember the key pieces of information over time, right? You have a chat and let's say you started a conversation with chatbot and you have 10 different conversation with the chatbot. And if you ask what I asked in the beginning, the chatbot must remember all the things, right? That, that is where the memory comes into action. Here, let's just go with a simple, simple example. From LangChain import open AI and conversation chain. So first we have the model, of course. And then there is the conversation. We just pass the large language model into that. And the output is conversation.predict. And here we says hi there. That is what we provide information to the chatbot, right? And we print the output. Uh, let's run this first. Now you will see that entering a new conversation chain and prompt after formatting. The following is a friendly conversation between human and AI, right? And human says hi there. And there is the part of the AI now, right? It says, finish the chain and hi there. And it's nice to meet you. My name is AI. What's your name? So it is actually providing the information here, right? But instead of saying, what's my name? I, I just want to make the conversation go along. And I said, uh, conversation.predict input. I'm doing well, right? Just having a conversation with an AI. If I pass this now, let's see what AI does. You see the memory part here. It goes all the way up, right? There is the current conversation. There is human hi there, the first one. And then there is the AI hi there. It's nice to meet you. This is what we already did in the previous round, right? It also takes that into account. And I said, I'm doing well, just having a conversation with an AI. And now the AI is part. It said, that's great. It's always nice to have a conversation with someone new. What would you like to talk about? So you can continue this. This is kind of having a conversation with the AI. This is really good. And this is all the parts in the quick start. In the next video, as I said before, I will go with the chat models part. It is similar to this. If we go to the documentation and the chat models, here they say that similar to what we did, you can also have a chat models instead of LLMs. And they have also mentioned that chat model APIs are fairly new. So we are still figuring out the correct abstractions. I hope you learned something. If yes, please give thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, do so. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.